to welcome to tech tap chat so in our previous videos we already discuss about what are the different compute services in google cloud then we jumped into the google compute engine we did some hands on on the google compute engine persistent is snapshot all this stuff and now we are discussing about a google app engine so one interesting stuff here about the google app engine so this is a special service for google cloud why this is special because this is the first service launched by google cloud as a part of google cloud products and after that they release cloud storage bigquery cloud sql other services so this is a very first service launched by a google cloud in april 2008 now let's see in detail what is a google app engine okay so google app engine is a platform as a service provided by google cloud which supports a multiple languages and frameworks so as we discussed earlier the google compute engine was infrastructure as a service where we were using the google's infrastructure to create our virtual machine but this is a platform as a service that's why i highlighted here because this is important to understand the platform as a service or pass service or infrastructure as a service here so this is a platform as a service and this is a managed by google so it provide an environment for deploying applications serverless architecture resources can scale automatically based on the demand now let's take an example you have one e-commerce application and you have a website for this application and now you host that website on a google compute engine now let's say your application is brand new so you just started with basic vm configuration and now your audience started growing your application started growing so as soon as there is a huge traffic on your application your resources might be insufficient to handle that load so you will feel a performance issues you will have a lot of issues related to your application related to your website because suppose if you are assigning 8 gb ram to your vm instance and now your application is growing that ram is not sufficient so every time you have to keep increasing the ram so suppose now increase from 8 gb to 16 gb and after few months again you got a new customer base you started application growing rapidly so that 16 gb is also insufficient now take an example let's say example of amazon so amazon has their different different sales year end sales or black friday sales so during that sales there will be high traffic on their servers so there has to be automatically scale their server based on the requirement and if there is no traffic it should scale down so this is not happening if you are using a plain virtual machine or compute engine so in that case you can use a google app engine where based on your load it will scale your instances it will scale a back end infrastructure automatically and it will scale down when there is no load on the system because this eliminates the complexity of managing servers or configuring infrastructure so here you don't need to worry about how much ram it is needing how much cpu it is needing so you just deploy your application and based on the requirement it will just align your back end infrastructure so this is the best service in terms of a web applications or you have to deploy kind of the mobile application apis here okay so now let's up talk about some features here so this is fully managed environment so google takes care of server management scaling monitoring patching and all other stuff so if you are using servers for your application deployment you have to take care of your server management your network you have to scale manually you have to add additional monitoring alerting for your application then you have to take care of the patching here this is a fully managed environment so you just deploy your code and rest of the things are taken care by a google itself it supports a multiple languages so can you use python java node.js go ruby php and other languages as well so automatic scaling as i said so this automatic scaling is available in app engine so your application will be scales and handle any level of traffic from few users to millions of users okay so if there are only hundreds of users on your website it will just use a small infrastructure let's say one or two instances but if there are millions of users it can scale up to 50 or 100 instances as well so this automatic scaling feature is available in a google app engine and it's built in services so app engine also provides some built in services like authentication caching monitoring which you can easily integrate with your application again the versioning and traffic split now suppose you have application running on your uh, server or vm instance okay now you have to change something so you will deploy your application again during that deployment window your application will have a downtime and the second thing if your newly deployed application something went wrong then all your user 
will face that downtime. If you do not have any idea how much time it will take to resolve that issue. But if you are using the app engine, so you will have a versioning concept. So you can keep your production version running and you can deploy a second version but you will see only the second version your user will see only the working version and then you can test your second version is working fine then you can migrate all the traffic to the newer version so you can just split the traffic you can just migrate the traffic it's up to you how you want to manage your app engine so that feature is also available in google app engine so we are going to discuss in detail about all this feature with a live demo so i'll be creating app engine environment i'll be deploying application I'll show you how automatic scaling happen, how we can split the traffic, how we can migrate the traffic, all things I'm going to show in this video. Okay, so this a uh, basic stuff all about the Google App Engine. Now, again, the security features are also there in App Engine, kind of firewalls, encryption, integration, and IAM also. So suppose you want to deny traffic from any of the countries for your Google App Engine, that also you can do or you can deny traffic from any of the IPs that also you can do in Google App Engine. Now there are two environments in a Google App Engine. One is standard environment and one is flexible environment. So in standard environment it is just like kind of sandbox and everything is run and taken care at the back end. No more customization options available for you so you have to just work on your code and rest of the things are taken care by a Google Cloud. So this is mainly for small scale application where you do not have any kind of complex architecture where you don't need to pay more costs so it is for small scale application kind of testing environment sandbox and you can use it for low cost but in your flexible environments executes your application in the docker container and the docker containers will be deployed on the vm instances but that vm instances and all infrastructure again taken care by app engine so you don't need to worry about vm instances you can give option for manual and automatic killing here now suppose you have application which is not supported by a google app engine in that case you can use a flexible environment so you can create a docker image for your application and you can see a runs docker container that includes a custom runtime or a source code written in other programming languages so this is for flexible environment so I'm, I will not complicate much here with this theoretical stuff so what I will do I will just show you demo how we can deploy application on Google App Engine with standard environment and also with the flexible environment then you will understand the difference between standard and flexible environment in a better way.